doping fathers of this country and the black and of black dissemination obviously the record of civil rights uh, comes to mind but to the rest of us the relationships are used as a political excuse to bolster their platforms and race relations you see if you see the shit you know for what it is and so forth you can actually call it but then again I don't fucking get that motherfuckers are that damn blind but you know they're stupid enough to like just ignore it okay but keep ignoring it it will never go away all right the line between the slave master's name and your last name is so thick yet thin enough to the reality we live in when it comes in to entitlement okay I need you all to think about that because that shit is fucking real think about it be black after this let's go integrate our feet in some racist ass yes I love it roll the music <laughs> If a faith-based organization were running a government program, could they have it as a articulated policy? We don't hire Catholics and Jews with the federal money. Well, again, uh, we are. We've, we've had many conversations with you about uh, anti-discrimination laws, and we have enforced cases involving discrimination based on uh, religion in the employment context and in the uh, in other contexts. We're we have a case actually in Arizona that we have I'm brought a, involving I'm a little confused. discrimination. Can, can, can an organization have as an articulated policy? We don't hire Catholics and Jews with federal money. Again, uh, we are having this conversation with you about how to treat the issues of uh, ensuring that we partner with faith-based organizations in ways that are consistent with all of our laws and all of our values, and we will continue do the laws to evaluate. Do the laws that you are enforcing prohibit discrimination or allow discrimination with federal money? I mean, could, could, could an organization have an articulated policy, we don't hire Catholics and Jews, with federal money? Again, uh, every, every situation is fact-specific. We have, in fact, prosecuted, uh, or not prosecuted, we brought civil suits in cases involving uh, discrimination based on religion, and we will continue to evaluate specific facts of particular well, cases. I just gave you a fact situation. And the facts faith organization is running a federal program with federal money, and has an articulated policy, we don't hire Catholics and Jews. Well, well, again, we will, we will evaluate the full context of every case that we have, and we will make the appropriate judgment. And when the facts demonstrate that uh, there is, in fact, discrimination occurring, uh, we will not hesitate to take appropriate action. And, uh, and, that, and if you look at the isn't it, case, true, isn't it true that your policy is that a, that a faith-based organization can, in fact, have an articulated policy, we don't hire Catholics and Jews, and still receive federal money? Well, again, sir, we, we look at particular situations and we evaluate the specific facts in the particular situation and make the appropriate judgment as to the application of the facts to the law in that particular case. Are you ashamed of saying yes, they can in fact discriminate legally with the laws that you are enforcing? Voters in L.A. support the regulation of marijuana dispensaries, not a ban. A Mason-Dixon poll of L.A. County voters found that the 70s found that 77 percent prefer regulations and only 14 percent prefer a ban. There will always be a marijuana trade in Los Angeles. The popular and sensible thing to do is to regulate the marijuana industry, not to think that we can wish it out of existence. A ban will simply mean endangering patients who have to go to the streets. Thank you very much. Got those booty bubbles, got those booty bubbles, got those booty bubbles. That's right, bitch, watch as dirty condoms. Um, I was up this morning uh, on a Facebook uh, post, rant, rage, chat, and so forth. This is some funny shit. Uh, I was up with my boy Keyshawn DJ Finesse Tucker over a load of justified laughter. I mean, it's priceless. But yet again, it's speechless to see a picture of a fat bitch trying to squeeze all 500 pounds of her into tiny clothes. My comment set off a uh, set off like a string of fucking shit. All right, um, I commented that it was a fat person's utopia to do so, and motherfuckers agree. All right, we are a nation of lard asses. 33 strings later, and we're still banging up, bagging on this shit. All right, won't find me with a blimp bitch. Too much meat for two little legs. 
I think. Um, popular to contrary belief, uh, they're the main reason Obamacare exists. Uh, when they're throwing away 40% of our food away daily, I'm surprised that hereditary, hereditary granular problems are the lame excuse for eating bullshit in the first place. It's also a reason for our water shortages during the fire season out here because they're using too much water to bathe to wash all those hidden rolls and folds of body fat. And God help you if your fat ass is in a swimming pool. I keep a harpoon at the ready. A lot of kids on Skid Row could use the extra protein. You know, that's just a small suggestion before, you know, the apocalypse happens and there's no food to fucking eat around this bitch. Start cooking up fat people real quick, you know what I mean? And if you only have one thing left as precious to you that you have hidden away in your hideaway sack that you love very much, that will be taken away as well. And they won't give a fuck in these last days. Critical times hard to deal with. Misinterpretation and misunderstanding will be prepared for not a smooth, but a fatal crash landing. In these last days, critical times. But first, there's brimstone and hell on this thin road to agape that's treacherous. This prize is reserved, reserved for some, but not for all of us. There's a magic mountain in heaven after this highway of hell. Yes, love will prevail in these last days. Keep it hot out here. Speaking of hot, this is the hottest shit in cultural nepotism. Hottest story so far. LL Cool J stops a home invasion and holds the perp until the police arrive. Okay, I probably said this a bunch of times out here, but let's put it down for finality. One more time, dumbass. You can't stop New York. When it comes to being a, being a weak ass LA motherfucker out for criminal, criminal activity, motherfuckers in LA are stupid. And that's spelled with two O's. This is a hip hop icon from Brooklyn, where I'm from, all right? And you mean to tell me this wannabe wankster? No, he doesn't even rank the full wank. Came from some set of knuckle dragon illiterate assholes, or better yet, thought to be the score of a lifetime. Y'all malignant geniuses have it ass backwards. We who are from New York in LA don't play your garbage. Listen to your bullshit and or have no use for your stupid shit out here. All right? We'll beat the shit out of you each and every fucking day because you are like an abused bitch. You keep coming back for more. All right? Reports say that the perp got his ass handed to him in spades. Okay, this is LL Cool J. The motherfucker been lifting weights since he was fucking, what? 19 okay <laughs> you creep y'all niggas can creep and post up all you fucking want we know your streets better than you dumbass don't y'all fucking get it we came we been ruling running this shit since fucking Meyer Linsky days all right when the fuck y'all gonna get that shit obviously not we know Just gotta do this real quick. Um, of course, you know, the, the choppers have been trying to shop me, you know, stop my shit, but you know, that's what 
tell AP he tried to deal with shit, tried to stop my shit, but hey, that's the way it is. Anyway, um, we've come to the ass end of our day, and of course you know what that means. It means for you to breathe this in and throw it back out. Okay? And on three. One, two, three. Asshole of the day! <laughs> Asshole of the day. Yes, yes, y'all, y'all know that perfect denominator against the so-called high and mighty okay so i'd rather you know have attila the hun hitler or even george bush jr living next to me than the ultimate malinchista councilman richard alicorn aka the mustache okay here's, here's how this shit goes i mean alicorn is currently facing 18 criminal counts stemming from allegations he didn't live in the district he represented on city council the charges include two felony counts of filing false declaration and seven felony counts of fraudulent voting along with nine counts of perjury. Quote unquote, the mustache is fate. Now rest in the hands of the mayor's sister, Superior Court Judge Emil Villa de Longoria, who must decide if Alicorn's case goes to full jury trial. How's that? Uh, you know, how that turns out is anyone's guess, but... We do know this. Richard Alcorn is a shitty neighbor. All right, what the fuck? Is this motherfucker that fucking stupid and that spelled with two O's? I mean, when you turn a house into an apartment building harboring what looks like a 405 traffic jam accident, it's no wonder you bring out the worst in your culture as a corporate and corrupt politician. Note, Mexicans are known for hoarding 50 bodies into a speeding Volkswagen with the fattest, with the fattest ones riding on the hood as hood ornaments. So it's no surprise that everyone in his neighborhood of white dumb actually gets to see what a ghetto-minded idiot lives like. Just like the bus system, they cram the front of the bus all fucking day, uncouth, and I'm supposed to respect that bullshit? Fuck you, alright? Not so long as I'm from Brooklyn, bitches, move the fuck out my way, like Moses part in the Red Sea, here out of cultural fear of a Rasta man. What's that KC in the Sunshine Band song? I'm your boogeyman? Hmm. Back to the mustache. You see, back in 2009, the mustache abandoned his home, which comes as no surprise to anyone who has followed his endless ping-ponging from one office to another. The courts will ultimately rule on Alicorn's guilt of or innocent, but the jury is already on his character. Just like I told your ass busters, character is easily morphed into anything your ego will make out of it and it's plain to see that this mustache mensal proves me right again yep fine example of ass kissing elitist that still thinks this is occupied mexico but let's follow this one for laughs when he asked to see his sister judge him from the court can you say sibling corruption of the case of this bendejo walk away free Yep, Richard the Mustache Alicorn, you are the asshole of the day who smells like an ass. Oh, yes, indeed, motherfucker. Get a fucking clue. Okay, so anyway, if you missed it, play it again till you get it right. All right, you can say moving forward all day, bitches, but you know I'm ahead of your bullshit. This has been your radio show of shows. Ha <laughs> ha, bust that ass radio. And of course, you know, I'm put the taglines in there. 83.17 FMX. And the X stands for, that's right, bitches. Say this with me. You don't see me coming when you never saw where I've been. All up in your ass. Steady shellacking the rum pum pum. Harder than ever. Booty bubbles and dirty condoms. That's right, bitches. I'm everywhere. So see you in the motherfucking streets. Because y'all know damn well I am that dirty motherfucker. But then, too, you know, hey, look what y'all fucking gave me to fucking work with. <laughs> fucking evidence is all over the fucking place, and you guys do the same shit all fucking day long. Like, it's a fucking opera out here. I mean, let's face it, people. Y'all are really, 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 really cutting it close on that one. So, shit, fuck it. You know, I'm on for the fucking cheese, bitch, just like everybody else. I believe it's time you faced the authentic self. <laughs> It's 6 o'clock at AM. Do you know what your job is? Work on mine. Work on mine. Buzz the beehive. The king's plan. Oh, I was...
Cause from lunch break we celebrate the league belligerent to escape any work for here. Yep. That's the end of the show. So you know what I'm about.